single day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood. A neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Well, hello neighbor. Neighbors, did you know it has been a whole year of you coming to my neighborhood? Gosh, do I miss being in your neighborhood? This year, we've done a whole lot inside our homes. For us, we turned our living room into a gym and we turned our living room into a church, and we turned our dining room into a recording studio. Some of you turned your kitchen tables into your school desks. Some grown-ups stayed home when they used to go to work every day, and other grown-ups went hard at work, at hospitals and nursing homes, and places where they needed to help out. Our scripture for today, maybe you can read it, it says, who is the greatest? I know, the answer, believe it or not, isn't Pope Joan, even though she's my greatest friend. It is all about who is trying to be the best. The disciples, Jesus' friends, were talking about who is the best. And we might think that people who are the best could have big trophies like this one, or awards, or big muscles, or good grades. So what does Jesus say? Hey, Joni. Jesus says, the one who is the best is the one who is a servant. Like when you do your chores without being asked, or when you're kind, when no one is looking, when you speak up, when someone is being bullied, even if it feels scary, when you welcome people, no matter who they are, no matter where they're from, this year, when we've been home, that has been all about being a servant too. We found new ways to serve. Some people made masks and we all prayed for each other. Some of us cooked meals for each other. Staying home is about being a servant. It was about caring for other people, even when it meant that we had to give something up. Jesus said, whoever wants to be the best, will be a servant. And even as things change and people get their vaccines and as school opens up soon, I want you to remember that the very, very best, Jesus says the very best person is the one who takes care of other people. So friends, this week, remember to be a servant and remember to be kind.